Over the past few years, Slough has earned itself a questionable reputation. Twice voted in the top 20 worst places to live in the UK and with a massive population contributing to overcrowded living conditions, there is nothing in its drab architecture dominated by concrete walls and dirty glass to suggest its rich and vibrant history. An intimidating crime rate and unwelcoming atmosphere both disguise an unknown slough, which sadly hasn't made itself visible for many years, drowned out by a rough portrayal in the media and the incessant slander of its own inhabitants. Luckily, there is evidence of the old town in the form of dusty reels of film, recently digitized for the purpose of this video, which provide a rare glimpse into Slough's glamorous past. So let's travel back in time 50 years and have a look at the forgotten Slough. Peter Bradley, a resident in Slough for 53 years, can remember the friendly community atmosphere which made Slough such an inviting place to live in. When I first came to Slough in the 1950s, I could ride my bicycle around quite happily. All these roads, I wouldn't dare go near any of them now, other than the motor car. Um, I mean, this, this has just come because of the volume of people really. Um, th there have been these tremendous changes but um, some things are good, some things are bad. Frankly I was much more happy in, in the olden days when um, uh, um, I could feel more integrated in with what was going on even if it was not very much. So, so would you say there was more of a community feel back then? Yes, yes I would. Yeah. Do you miss that now? I think that the, everything is there, you've just got to dig more deeply if you want to find it. Like all towns during the war and post-war period, Slough was fiercely patriotic and didn't mind showing it. During a visit from the Queen in 1952, the town was transformed by flags and banners. The entire populace donned the red, white and blue of the Union Jack and flooded the streets in a maelstrom of colour and joyous celebration. Certainly, Slough has always been a vibrant place. It was once the hub of astronomy in Britain. It was here that a telescope first laid eyes on that most mysterious of all our planets, Uranus, discovered and named by William Herschel in 1781. It has produced a surprising number of films and television shows, including The Office, Thunderbirds, and the rather demeaning road wars. It was also a vital cog in the engine behind the success of the motor car industry in the 1950s, helping develop and produce early iterations of the modern car for many years. From a modern perspective, it is hard to believe Slough to be so accomplished, and it's even harder to believe that this is what Slough looked like mere decades ago. But the town, which appears upon first glance to be a fruitless accident of overzealous expansion, has a few mysteries around every corner. And if the passerby is willing to delve a little deeper into its past, it can prove to be a very interesting place. <laughs> 